Hello dudes, welcome to techto.com. In this video, we will study another enhanced feature of or another feature of enhanced ER diagram. Okay. So, we have studied generalization specialization so far as a enhanced feature. And now in this lecture we will study aggregation. So, let's get started. Aggregation is a abstraction basically. It's a abstraction abstraction through which we can represent relationships as higher level entity in our er diagram we don't have a, we don't have a way to represent relationship among relationships okay we cannot represent the relationships among among relationship okay so for that matter, what do we use is aggregation. So, the limitation is, the limitation of ER diagram is, we cannot represent relationship among relationship. So, let's start with an example. Consider a situation where you have given that a manager, manager manages, manager manages, combination of something that is employee and his job and his location okay or we can say branch okay so a manager manages employee job and location all the threes or let's say it is a branch branch okay so how we can represent this with our so far studied ER model. We have to represent it it's something like this. We will have a job entity job we, we will have an entity employee we will have an entity branch branch and there will be a relationship like works on Okay, so employee works on a job, employee works on a branch and job works on branch like job is on some branch associated with some branch. Okay, so this is a ternary relationship, right? And now we have another entity which is manager. Manager. Okay, so how do we represent it? Manager again we will have a relationship manages manages okay this is manages so manager manages branch manager also manages employee and manager also manages this job okay so this is the relationship instance so this is uh, see quite complicated to model in uh, in our database and not in database it seems to be quite complicated in representation itself okay because see we have extra relationships also like this is manager manages branch manager manages job manager manages employee okay something redundant relationship what we call it as okay so we have another way using aggregation what do we do is we have we represent same job entity okay job entity we represent uh, this branch branch this is another entity and we had employee entity employee entity okay so the relationship is works on works on okay and they, we have ternary relationship okay we treat this so far drawn ER model as a entity a higher level entity okay so this we treat as higher level entity okay this we treat as higher level entity entity okay higher level higher level 
which we treat as higher level entity okay and now what do we do is we create we have another entity manager 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 whose relationship is manages with this higher level entity okay so we basically abstracted okay the this implementation is abstracted at higher level okay and this this part of the er diagram is treated as a higher level entity okay so this is called abstraction here okay so i hope this is clear i'll repeat it again rather than having multiple relationships in er diagram okay or redundant relationship what do we do is we create a higher level entity by aggregating a relationship okay so this relationship itself will be will work as a entity and this entity has a relationship with manager okay manager manages this higher level entity which has a relationship works on between entity type employee branch and job okay so this is basically abstraction and this is a v abstraction is a v or aggregation sorry aggregation is a v of abstraction okay or hiding the higher level details so i hope this is clear now if you have any doubt uh, in all the topics uh, of enhanced er relationship diagram go to the doubt section and feel free to ask your doubt make sure the same doubt has not been asked already because it will increase the redundancy in our database okay and that's why uh, we have to that's what we have to avoid we are uh, now a database engineer right so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching